Michelle Payne's history-making Melbourne Cup victory is being recreated for the big screen. Ride Like a Girl follows Payne's incredible life story from school dropout to becoming the first female jockey to win the race that stops the nation. It was extraordinary, wasn't it? And mm. Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabber Davis joins us now from Los Angeles. Ooh, wow. Morning to you, Jabs. Very cool, Morning, very guys. Hollywood of you. Yeah. Now, this of course is an iconic Aussie story. Does the movie do it justice? Well, good morning, Mon. Good morning, Baz. Good morning, everybody. You'd have to work overtime, I reckon, to stuff this one up. And Rachel Griffiths has worked overtime to deliver a very likeable film. It's a Cinderella rags to riches tale of Michelle Payne, the youngest of ten kids. Her mum died when she was just a baby, and she followed in the footsteps of many of her siblings who were jockeys. Uh, her dad was uh, living living on the track, so she was a family that grew up in racing. Um, and the, it tells the story pretty well. You know, the, the highlight, I think, is probably terrific. Teresa Palmer as Michelle. She does a great job. Um, Paddy Payne, of course, played by Sam Neill, who's always good. But for me, the highlight has to be Stevie Payne as himself. There is something so sincere about this young man's performance and such a huge part of the Michelle Payne story. Let's take a look at a scene from Ride Like a Girl. What will happen if Dad goes away? What will happen with me then? I'll look after you, buddy. Because you haven't got a boyfriend. Because <laughs> you're my best friend. And we're going to build a home. And I'll have a ton of horses. I'll train them up and you'll be my number one strapper. What happened if you die? Yeah, absolutely natural, Stevie Payne. Yeah, home and away. Mate, I hope mate. you're watching because he is keen for a guest stint there, guys. Really? Okay. Wow, he looks so good. It looks, uh, it looks terrific. Oh, and look at the stars, Jab. Three and a half. Inspirational inch. family drama. Great, uh, very empowering story and uh, real tale of resilience there. Three and a half stars for Ride Like a Girl. Great solid effort from Rachel Griffiths. Now, something we've been teasing all morning uh, features a huge star-studded cast, and it's based on a range of toys, which, of course, we've seen before with the great success in the Lego movie, the Transformers movie. We've got the Playmobil movie coming later this year. Ugly dolls are basically these um, pretty wacky dolls that started off as a bit of a pen pal um, uh, scenario between a, a, a relationship that was a far-flung uh, couple, and they the guy would write letters to his girlfriend with drawings and she would then sew these dolls and send them back to them. Uh, and they went on to become this incredibly successful toy range and now there is a film based on the range. Uh, and it's got some pretty big stars, including Nick Jonas, who plays the leader of the Academy for Perfection, Lou. <laughs> Oh, that looks good. Yeah, this one's perfect for school holidays. Three stars for this one. A fun musical adventure for kids. Uh, acceptance, diversity, some great themes in there uh, and a whole lot of songs in there as well. So if you've got little ones, you've got to occupy these school holidays. Ugly Dolls is a good pick for that. Of course, Angry Birds Movie 2 and Abominable, a couple of other great animated choices. Guess what we're doing in the holidays? Seeing all of those yes. movies. <laughs> good <laughs> stuff, <laughs> Jab. Travel safe. We might take the but kids' You guys, I'll say hi to Michelle Pfeiffer for, for you in the morning. Oh, oh please very do. Very nice. All right. We look He's forward such to a name that. dropper, oh, isn't he? What was that noise? <laughs> that was Jabber dropping names. <laughs>